video, we're going to use one trigonometric ratio to find another trigonometric ratio. So if we know one, we can actually start kind of finding the others. So we're given the ratio t um, tangent of theta equals 15 over 8. And I know that tangent over theta is opposite over hypotenuse. So I have my triangle here. I'm going to say that this is my theta, just to kind of denote it here. And I'm going to do the opposite, which is 15 over 8. All right, because we know that. We know that from... We know that from the other examples. We know that from Sakatoia, if you remember that one. Okay, so now all we need to do is find the hypotenuse. Well, we know as well from geometry that a squared, a squared, let me change colors here, that we know that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. All right, we do know my a. My a in this case, I guess, is 8 squared, which is 64, plus 15 squared. And although I am pretty good at my squares, I'm just going to plug this into my handy dandy calculator so I could ensure I'm getting the correct number, 225 equals c squared. All right, so 8 squared plus 15 squared is equal to 289. This is equal to c squared. Well, we're not trying to find c squared. We're trying to find c. So I'm going to take the square root. Again, this is not going to be a plus or minus. We don't need the plus or minus in this case because length can only be positive. So I do not need to say plus or minus in this case because again, length just needs to be positive. So we are going to be looking at the square root of 289, which is 17. So this is an 815. 17 triangle. Alright, so now what we need to do is we need to do all the other tri trigonometric ratios. So sine of theta is equal to the opposite over adjacent. That's going to be 15 over 17. Cosine of theta is going to equal the adjacent over the hypotenuse. Did I say opposite over adjacent? I meant opposite over hypotenuse here if I said that. Um, this is 8 over 17. Tangent was given, which is 15 over 8. Uh, cosecant, theta is going to be the reciprocal. Secant of theta is going to be the reciprocal of cosine, which is 17 over 8. And cotangent of theta is going to equal 8 over 15. All right, so there we go. We can use one trigonometric ratio to find all the other trigonometric ratios by one, identifying which one we're using if we have hypotenuse, adjacent, or opposite, and by also knowing Pythagoras' theorem. So guys, I hope that you got a little bit out of this video. Um, I hope to see you in the next video, and again, if you have any questions, please always feel free to ask, and I'll see you next time.